Correcting an envelope in DocuSign means that you want to update something about an envelope that you've already sent. So you're not resending a new envelope. Why would you rather correct over resend an envelope? For two reasons. First, it doesn't cost you a new envelope. And the second reason it's better to correct over resending is because if you sent an envelope that had more than one signer, at least two signers, and the first signer had already signed the envelope, and then you realize that the second signer's email or name or whatever inside of the envelope is incorrect, then you can just change that second signer's related information or documents without requiring the first signer to sign a document again. And so that's why it's better to correct over resending. But now, how do you correct an envelope? What can you correct and who can correct? I'm going to answer all the questions in this video. And if you haven't met me before, my name is Sofian Saudi. I'm the founder of Solution Consulting. I was previously with DocuSign five years ago and founded Solution Consulting. We help organizations who are just starting with DocuSign or have been using DocuSign for a while, but want to make it better, want to make it faster, want to automate it implement e-signature templates and integration so that you can save time and stop doing things manually and just fight with document throughout the day. If you're interested in learning how we can help your business use DocuSign better or faster, then you can click on the link below to schedule a consultation with one of our automation consultants. During the call, we'll review the workflow you're looking to automate, map out the ideal process, and share with you the best implementation options for your specific needs. And if you are just starting with DocuSign, I also strongly recommend that you download our free DocuSign Mastery Cheat Sheet. You can find the link down below. It will help you understand how to get started with DocuSign on the right foot. Now back to how to correct envelopes in DocuSign. Let's first cover who can correct DocuSign envelopes. To correct envelopes, you have to be the sender of the envelope or you have to be on an enterprise plan where you've been given shared access to other people's envelopes. If you don't have an enterprise subscription, you can only correct your own envelope as the sender. For example, in this specific envelope was sent by me to Maria Anderson, and then I'm the second signer here. Let's just say that I realized Maria's email address was incorrect. I would simply go to my agreements tab and then my sent items, locate the envelope, here it is, and then I'll click on correct. Now let's cover what can I correct. Since no recipients have signed the documents, I can correct anything I want. I can change the document. So for example, I could delete this document here. I could also replace the documents. If I've realized that I've made a mistake and I need to update the document, I can replace it by clicking on replace and uploading a new version for my document. I can also change Maria's name. I can also change Maria's email. I can change whether Maria needs to sign or receive a copy. I can change the field values. I can add extra fields. I can do whatever I want. And that is because Maria has not signed the envelope. But now let me show you what corrections you can make to an envelope that has been sent by at least one signer. Here is the envelope and I'm going to sign it as Maria. We've got a green tick mark, which means that I can no longer change anything about Maria. Let's click on correct. As you can see, the document is locked. This means that I can no longer update this document, delete it. I can add additional documents if I want to, but I can no longer change anything about this document because Maria has already signed the document and I can't change anything about this recipient because the signature has already been applied. I can still make changes to the document by adding additional things. So since we have an additional signer, I could technically add additional text on this document, but that field would be assigned to the signer who hasn't signed yet. So in this case, that's myself. If I realize that I, I forgot to place a signature box for Maria to sign somewhere in a document, what I will need to do is to add Maria again. I can just change maybe the signing order. If I want Maria to sign before me, I can just place Maria in second position and myself, the chief legal officer in this example, as the third signer. And then here I can drag and drop an additional signature for Maria. And you can see this is signed to Maria. And so this is how you could bring Maria back inside of the workflow. You would just need to add her again. And now I'm going to click on next and then click on correct. All of those corrections are captured in the audit trail and you can also see them in the history. Now, the last thing that I want to show you is how to correct envelopes that are sent by another signer for whom you have shared access. So if you go to agreements and then shared access, 
you can simply click on the user that you want to correct the envelopes for and you can go to the sent items and here actually i don't have any in progress envelopes but i could simply click here and then click on correct um the reason that i cannot click on correct now is because the status of my envelopes is completed you can no longer make any changes to that envelope what you can do is if you realize that you've sent an envelope and it's been completed and then you realize that something is wrong you need to recreate that transaction you can click on the three dots and then copy that will create the copy of the envelope and you can make changes but that's a new transaction that's no longer called correcting but what i don't really like about correcting the envelope directly on the docusign page is that you have to log into docusign look for the envelope click on correct and then you have to update information that you might have to copy as well in your crm or in your database whatever the information is whether it's an email address uh, any data field that you would want to add to the envelope there's a much better option to correct envelopes and it's by api let me show you what i mean by that this is our solution platform it's a platform that we built and it helps law firms and any organization that sends a lot of documents completely automate document workflows in this view here we can see all the envelopes that were sent and so we have an envelope here for emily martinez we can see here that the email has auto responded the status for that recipient has auto responded because the email address for emily is a fake email that does not exist so what i want to do here is to correct emily's email address without having to go to docusign so what i'm going to do is to open the record that i have for emily and change her email address for a real email so let's just say sofian plus emily and here it is the envelope has now been sent to emily and emily's is now in the envelope delivery okay pile and no longer in the bounce email the reason this is really powerful is because i don't need to update emily's email address in two places once in DocuSign and once in my database or in my spreadsheet or whatever. I just update email address in my system, push a button to correct, and then the envelope will be sent to Emily. And this is how you can correct DocuSign by API or directly on the web interface. If you're looking for more help with DocuSign, you can schedule a consultation using the link just down below to talk to one of our DocuSign experts. We can help you with training, templates, and integration development so you can really save time and say goodbye to manual paperwork. I will see you in the next video. Ciao.